my question is should culture be preserved at all because in the name of preservation of culture already we have started seeing moral policing in india see culture is a happening thing nobody can preserve it as it is it is evolving all the time nothing wrong with that if it's evolving naturally people making choices and making certain changes with their lives it's perfectly okay but when your culture is being engineered by commercial forces some amount of stopping and preserving also needs to happen isn't it if naturally it's evolving people are making their choices to eat differently to dress differently to do things differently it's perfectly okay so for commercial forces or anyway having budgets to change your culture having a strategy to change your culture when it is so i think you should also have a strategy not to allow that to happen <laughs> how it is done is a questionable thing whatever you called as moral policing it happened in crude ways so yes everybody is disgusted with that but uh, in some form of education some way it must be done it's very easy to, to sell sleaz you understand and very easily you can catch the youth and make that the culture of the land in no time whatever say i want you to understand this when you say culture there are different types of cultures in the world if culture is just a social norm if culture is just a certain way people are living because of climatic conditions because of other influences that's different i want you to under understand this culture was engineered to gradually lead pe people towards their spiritual process always right from ancient times every aspect of your life how to sit how to stand everything was engineered to slowly lead you towards a spiritual process and i think that part of the culture has to be preserved i don't care how you dress what you do but there are many aspects of culture which are essentially a yogic science implanted into people's lives so that without even knowing you're practicing yoga you're practicing yoga this was done thousands of years ago like a mother teaches a child to brush his teeth like that yoga should happen in their homes <laughs> brushing your teeth is a certain culture isn't it there are some people who don't have such things <laughs> so this was brought into your life because of the benefits that it has similarly various other practices and norms were brought into your ha life because of the benefits that it has for human well being now some commercial force is coming and removing everything for their benefit if you don't stop it in some way they will take away everything so some amount of control is definitely needed if people are making their choices and slowly evolving into something else that is nobody's business okay that is nobody's business every human being has a right to choose and change his life the way he wants but right now i want you to understand most human beings are not choosing they are being forced to make choices isn't it the commercial establishments the marketing departments are larger than the production departments in most companies and they are just campaigning if you don't do some kind of stoppage it must be done gently sensibly but unfortunately because saner voices in the society never speak the crude ones get onto the street and do the job that's all that's happening because saner voices never speak if saner voices speak there will be no room for uh, all those street goons to take up this job it need not be policed 
But education is needed definitely, isn't it? Yes or no? Education is definitely needed. What is the significance of doing what we have been doing for these thousands of years? This education is definitely needed. Because the education is missing, somebody is trying to educate you on the street with a stick in their hand. So, because you and me have not taken the responsibility of educating people properly, somebody is trying to do it in their own way. It's unfortunate, but that's how it will happen. That is how it will happen if we don't do it the right way.